Hello friends, welcome to Insight Learners. So in this video, we shall discuss the replicon test pattern and uh, the coding part. So basically, the replicon test pattern it includes uh, two sections. One is uh, the first section; it consists of six MCQ questions, and the remaining two will be coding. Uh, so in case of MCQ, you can see uh, the questions will be from aptitude. So you can expect the questions. Uh, there will be two aptitude questions, and the remaining will be. remaining four it will be mcq questions and uh, it will be on java so you need to find the output for the code so it will be mcq based questions and you need to find the correct output for the code so then uh, once you complete that uh, it will be around 15 minutes so uh, in 15 minutes you need to answer six mcq question so once you are done with the mcq question the next thing is that you need to find the so the next part will be coding so there will be two coding question and which uh, each coding question it will be like there will be 60 minutes time limit and you need to run the code you need to execute the code and also you need to pass the test case so then uh, we shall quickly see the code uh, so the coding question so the coding question it will be so like uh, the first coding question was cipher program so cipher program is that uh, so basically there will be plain text as well as the cipher text so here uh, the code will be like you need to in an encrypted code will be given and you need to decrypt the code so which is the, so the encrypted code you can call it as a initially there will be plain text so then you need to set a value that is k so with the help of a k you can say if, uh, if there is a plain text a b c d e then you need to set the value k is equal to 3 then after that the decrypted text will be like it will perform the shifting right shift and in which the code is decrypted and then it will give the output as d e f g so based on the k value so it will perform the so encryption code will be given and you need to decrypt the code and give uh, provide the output so the main function will be given and you need to uh, write the logic for that code so you need to take the input from the scanner so you need to pr provide the input and then you need to match the test case so we shall quickly see how to write the code for that so like a cipher program like the code will be encrypted and you need to find the decrypted code so for that we shall quickly see the code so i shall write the entire code but in the exam you need to just write the logic of that code so we shall quickly begin our code so initially uh, i have already created the the main file that is the main class cipher program and this is the main function so within that we shall write the code so first we shall include a scanner so the first thing is that scanner in equal to so new scanner of system dot in so you need to enter this in order to take the input from the scanner so once you are done with that you need to import so just import so you need to import the import java dot util dot scanner so you can check here it is showing like you need to import java dot util dot scanner so instead of uh, providing util dot scanner you just make it as star so that uh, you can apply so it is applicable for all so for all type of scanner so then there is no need to in include the scanner each time so just include star which will it's the applicable for all so once that is done so first what you need to do is you need to take a text message and then after that you need to take a shift value so initially so initially what you need to do is so system dot out dot print ln so initially what you need to take is you need to take an input that is enter the text so enter the cipher text message so enter the cipher text so enter the cipher text message so then after that you are going to read the cipher text which is in the form of a string they will be given a string so they are going to give you the string and for that you are going to so they are going to provide the string and then you are going to read the cipher text cipher text from the input that is scanner you are going to read it from the scanner so in the in the dot next of so since it is a string you are going to use the in dot next line of so in dot next line of will read the string and next thing is that what you need is you need to enter the shift value so you need to enter the shift value so you need to take the shift value 
so next thing is that you need to take the value of k that is enter the shift value you can see so this will read the k value so once that is done again you are going to read the value so you are going to read so you can consider so shift key to be you consider it as int k is equal to in dot next int of so since it is an integer you are going to take it as in dot next int of so next thing is what you need to take is you need to consider one decrypted message so that is string decrypt message string decrypt message is equal to so then after that you are going to con take an empty string so because once you uh, perform like encrypt en encrypted string is there and you are going to decrypt that string so we shall consider a decrypt message and next thing is that uh, there is a string and you need to loop it from the first index to the last index so for that you need to consider the for loop so for int i is equal to 0 so for int i is equal to 0 and i should be less than the length that is the we have considered the string as cipher text so cipher text so cipher text dot length of it should traverse to the entire length of the string to uh, to find the decrypted string so we have considered the for loop so for int i equal to 0 i should be less than cipher text dot length of i plus plus so next thing is what you need to do is you need to shift one character at a time so for that what you consider what you need to consider car alphabet so we shall consider an alphabet so each alphabet you need to shift one character at a time so car alphabet is equal to cipher then cipher text followed by each character so car at of i you need to consider so here you are going to shift each so that is cipher text followed by cipher text dot caret of i so you are going to shift each character at each time and next thing is that you need to check if an alphabet if it lies between a and z so that is if alphabet so if alphabet lies between a and z so you are going to check for this between a and z so for that you need to write so you need to include a condition that is if you are going to check if alphabet so if alphabet if it uh, if it is greater than equal to so if it is greater than equal to small a and then after that and and so and and what you need to do is and alphabet if it is less than equal to z so if it is less than equal to z what you need to do is you need to shift the alphabet so shift alphabet so shift the alphabet so for shifting the alphabet what you need to do is alphabet so alphabet is equal to then after that it should be so since it is alphabet is in character you need to downcast it to character else it will show an error so then for character followed by alphabet then after what you need to do is you need to shift the alphabet so therefore hyphen minus you can say you are going to shift the alphabet so you are going to uh, shift the alphabet so then after that what you need to do is if the alphabet if it is less than so next again you are going to consider so we uh, so it is showing error because we did not read the shift so we have read k so we have considered the shift to be k so therefore it is uh, showing it's showing red mark so you need to consider k so because we have read the k as a so the shift bit as a k so alphabet minus k and next thing is that if so then once it is done so next we need to include one more if loop if the alphabet if it is lesser than a so what you need to do is you need to if it is less than a you are going to write shift that is you need to shift to the starting position if it is so here you check like if the alphabet if it is greater than a and if it if lies if it lies within a to z then you can perform you can shift the alphabet suppose if it is less than a what you are going to do you are going to again start from the initial position so if alphabet if it is less than a if alphabet is less than a what you need to do is you need to again so if alphabet is less than a what you need to do is you need to reshift to the starting position so you are going to reshift to the starting position so reshift to the starting position 
so reshift to the starting position so how to do that is again alphabet equal to so again it should be in the form of a character so alphabet is equal to care of then alphabet so alphabet it will be from again you need to start from a plus again you need to start from a plus to z so alphabet starting from a to z till it should go for till the last index so z z plus one so you have checked for both the condition if it lies within a to z range then you are going to perform you get you're going to shift the alphabet if the if the alphabet like uh, the range if it lies with if it is less than a then you are going to start again from the starting position that is from a to z till the last so next thing is what you need to do once it is done what you are going to do you are going to write the decrypted message so decrypted once you are going to shift it then you are going to obtain a decrypted message so what you are going to do is decrypted message is equal to decrypted message plus alphabet so decrypted message plus alphabet so decrypted message equal to so the, it is decrypt we have considered it as a decrypt so you are going to write it as decrypt so decrypt message is equal to decrypt message plus alphabet so once that is done so next thing is uh, similarly we have checked for small alphabets i and then we are we need to again check for the that is uh, we have checked for the small alphabets even we need to check for the capital alphabets so therefore just what you need to do is again include so again you are going to include a else if statement so similarly we have checked if the alphabet lies within small a to small z but we need to check for capital a as well as capital z so for that what you need to consider is again if it is capital z then what you are going to consider if so else if so just simply copy paste this but there is no copy paste option so if you copy paste uh, the code will not run so even i shall uh, uh, show you by typing the code so that is if the alphabet if it lies if it is greater than equal to so if it is greater than equal to capital a and 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 alphabet if it is less than capital z so again what you are going to do same thing uh, like what you did for the smaller alphabets you are going to do the same so again what you need to do is again you are going to shift the alphabet so how to shift the alphabet like we have considered an a string that's alphabet equal to it should be converted to the character so then care of similarly you are going to consider it as alphabet minus k we have considered the shift as k similarly like how you did for this you are going to do the same so once it is done again what you need to do is again you are going to check if the alphabet if it is less than a so again you are going to start from the starting position that is if alphabet if it is less than a so if the alphabet if it is less than a what you are going to do is again you are going to start it from the starting position so starting position so alphabet is equal to so character alphabet is equal to care of so again you are going to consider alphabet so alphabet hyphen that is capital a we have we need to do same for like you did here capital a plus followed by capital z then followed by plus one so again you are going to print the decrypt message so decrypt message is equal to decrypt message plus alphabet so that is decrypt so decrypt message so decrypt message is equal to decrypt message plus alphabet so plus alphabet so decrypt message so spelling is wrong so decrypt message is equal to decrypt message plus alphabet so we have considered else if so next thing is you need to consider else loop if uh, if both the conditions are different like so if it is either not greater than uh, a or if it doesn't lie with a then you are going to print one more message so again else what you are going to do so again you are going to print so decrypt message so decrypt message is equal to decrypt message plus alphabet so plus alphabet so decrypt message is equal to decrypt message plus alphabet so lastly what you need to do is we have included if loop else if as well as else loop 
So lastly, we need to print the decrypted message. So for that, system dot out dot print ln of. So what you are going to do is decrypt message. So decrypt message is equal to plus what you need is like what you consider it as decrypt message. So decrypt message. So followed by semicolon. So just remove the extra flap braces. So here you can see this is simple logic like they will be uh, so they are going to uh, give the encrypted message and you are going to decrypt that message. For how to decrypt that message is that with the help of a k index you are going to use the shifting. So that is uh, there will be like a b c d is the characters and the k value is set to 3 and you can either perform right shift or left shift. So this, appli this applicables for both. So if it is uh, k is equal to 3 then it will perform. So if k is equal to 3 uh, like 3 times the characters are shifted and you can say that the message is decrypted. So now we shall quickly see the output for that. We shall run the code and see the check the output for that. So we shall run the code. We shall run the code. So it is asking enter the cipher text message. Uh, so enter the cipher text message. We need to enter the message. So that first test case one in the replicon, the, it was asked like DGEO is the encrypted string which is given, and we need to consider the shift index to be three, and it should display the output as ADBL. So I shall write what was the test case uh, that was asked. So we sh I shall mention here. So the test case one it was asked was. So it was like uh, the first thing is that uh, input like the input given was. D uh, it was uh, the encrypted string or you can say input was D G E O, and then after that the value of K was set to be three. And what you needed is you needed an output which should be it should print the output as ADBL. So this is the decrypted string and this was the input that was given. So just uh, we shall check whether we got the same output or not. So we shall check whether we will get the same input. So we shall write the same string that is DGEO. So DGEO is the string. So shift value is nothing but that is the k value which is 3. So you can see the decrypted message. So decrypted message is equal to you can say it is printing ADBL that is the same. So we shall see again like uh, the, it was DGEO and uh, the shift key was 3 and you can say decrypted message is ADBL. So we got the same output. So you can also write the same code in the exam but the thing is that uh, so the main program will be given and you need to include your logic within that code and you need to take the input from the scanner. So then in the next video uh, we shall see the next code that is uh, the next code was uh, to count the number of words in a string. So thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates.